El Paso County will receive double the amount of COVID-19 vaccines from the state next week compared to past weeks. County health officials say it's to make up for a discrepancy in doses that 13 investigates first uncovered. But once again tonight, the messages from both the state and county have been pretty contentious. 13 investigates Lauren Barnes is back live in the newsroom following this story all day long. One that's become quite the war of words. Lauren. Heather Bart, a spokesperson for the governor, confirms nearly 13,000 vaccines are headed here next week. But the state says the increased shipment comes with stipulations to use what the county already has. Thousands more COVID-19 vaccines are coming to El Paso County. The increase could help people like 82-year-old Betty Johnson. Kind of discouraging, you know. Or Jenny Thatcher. I mean, it just breaks my heart. Who have reached out to us, struggling to get a vaccine appointment for them or their loved ones. I'm just hoping, hoping the internet connection holds and the patients, so... But the state contends the shortage of supply is on the county for not using all its vaccines rather than the state for not sending its fair share. A spokesperson for Governor Jared Polis says, quote, we plan to send additional doses next week based off assurances that they will get them into arms immediately. Unfortunately, El Paso has had thousands of life-saving doses sitting on shelves for approximately eight days, adding that a state data system shows 9,000 doses on hand. But Colorado Springs Mayor John Southers defends the county's distribution, sending us this statement, reading, quote, It's unfortunate to see the governor's office doubling down on information they know is inaccurate Accurate. As already communicated to media today, all of the vaccine in El Paso County is in the distribution chain, whether on its way to other clinics at the request of CDPHE, set for near-term second doses, or ready for imminent vaccination clinics like the two set for Saturday. As local and state leaders sort out the confusion, people like Betty Johnson hope the increased supply continues to flow, counting down the days until their shots because there's a lot at stake. She's got 20 grandkids and 20 great grandkids. Now there could be a third explanation for all this. We are working to understand if the discrepancy between the state and the county could come down to the data reporting process. If local vaccine providers aren't updating inoculation numbers in a timely manner or as quickly as the state would like, that could lead the state to assume vaccines are going unused, but we don't know if that's what's happening here. We'll let you know what we find out. Reporting live in the newsroom, Lauren Barnes, 13 Investigates.